So go to Google, type nata.in. So in the search result, you will get this first official website of nata. And in the top, you will find, click on this. So this will take you to the application portal where you will have two options. One is for login and another one is for sign up. Those who are doing the registration for the first time, you need to give all these details to get your ID password for logging in. So if you have already done the sign up, you can just give your email address and password and get into the application portal. So in the sign up page, you need to fill all this detail accurate. So once you are done filling all these fields, click on sign up. So your registration has been received and you will receive a link in your email address. That is the registered email address. In this, if you see, you must have received an email from the NATA office website in case if you are not getting this email just check your spam folder here in the left this is the link open this and here you can see your ID and password has been provided now you need to click on this to verify your email address your email has been successfully verified now click here to login so again it will take you to the login page where you need to provide your email and password to get into the application portal now click on login you can save this in the chrome so here you can see these are the list of steps that need to be completed for completing this application form uh, so far we have completed the basic details in the sign up stage so remaining fields we need to fill in here the left out field here is this category you need to select the category in which you belong OBC, SCST and con save and continue. So now you are moved to the second step that is address and communication fields. So now you click on the save and continue. So next we move to the third step educational qualification. These three fields by default will be deactivated because this is a mandatory guideline to write NATA exam. Fourth category is board name so in which board you are studying based on the state which in you belong. If you are a central board CBSC you can select this. If you belong to any other particular state board for example you can find state board of school examinations Tamil Nadu some states they will have the name in the primary so next to the year of passing next obtained mark so these details which you are filling is for your 10th standard so make sure not to fill the 12th standard details here so type in the pin code for the school next the details of post 10th standard that is 12th standard diploma anything so students who are in 11th standard 12th standard and diploma these three categories are valued to write the NAT exam so now and the NATA score is valid for two years. So in case if you are writing it in your last standard, you can use the same mark when you are completing 12th standard. Next here also select the board and university your uh, next year of passing and the roll number of your 12th standard or 11th standard respective and your school name and the pin code of your school. Here you need to give all the uh, marks you have obtained in the subject since I have given as passed. If you are giving as appearing, you won't be asked with this following details. After providing all this detail, click on save and continue. It will take you to the next step where you need to upload your photo and signature. For uploading in the application portal, you need to make your photo and signature ready as a soft copy with the size reduced for the application portal. For doing this, we have made a separate video. The link for that video is available in this video description. You can do this easily using your phone WhatsApp. So here you can see the photo has to be between 4 KB and 100 KB and signature has to be between 1 KB to 30 KB. Photo name should not contain all these things. It has to be plain text like photo and sign etc. So click on choose file and go to the photo location and select the photo. If your photo is not under 100 KB, you will get this message. Now click on choose choose file and click on choose signature and select the signature if your photo and signature are accepted so it will be displayed here after that you need to upload your valid id document so it's a mandatory so select uh, aadhar card or any other id proof that you have school id is also accepted so document has to be in the jpeg format also the documents also has to be between 4 kb to 100 kb which you can use the same video or technique to make your aadhar card document available for uploading in the application Form. Now click on browse and select the identification document. Now click on save and continue. So our documents also successfully uploaded. Now we need to preview the application and check whether all the details given here are 
accurate to our uh, knowledge so just go through this carefully and uh, check for if there is any mistakes so in case we have any mistakes you can click on back and go edit any of the details and just click on save and continue to move towards the next step this is an important step because here only you are going to mention like which is test you are going to apply whether you are going to apply for single double or double test so in case if you are selecting single test for now you can also apply for one more test in the later but thing is when you are applying together you will get small concession in the application fee so you can decide on that uh, whenever you want now i'm going to do it for apply for single test and uh, country of the examination if you belong to uae or any other country you can click this other than uae there is no exam centers available so uae student they have exam center in dubai other country students has to must have to visit india to write the exam now i'm going to select india select the payment gateway so don't confuse this is not a bank account so this is the payment gateway provided by icic bank and to make payment using all the banks so the application fee for this exam is 1750 so this is the payment gateway here uh, you can provide your email address to get the receipt for this payment pay your name so i'm not going to use the net banking i'm going to use upi and here if you have google pay or phone pay or paytm in the application you will find upi id that upi id you need to provide here and verify for example this is my upi id and uh, you need to click on verify so you can see it's there my name so once it's verified you can do the payment otherwise you can also use this qr code method where when you click on this proceed now so you'll get a qr code you need to open any of your uh, pay payment applications google pay or phone pay and then click on scan on the qr code and you need to scan this qr code so once you are scanned you will able to do the payment from your mobile phone so the page will redirect and you need to click on click here to continue and now you will be able to select a test city that is the city in which you want to write the examination so here you can see in tamil nadu you have chennai coimbatore virudhunagar tiruvallur other than that there is no city available for the exam in Tam Tamil Nadu. So I am going to choose Coimbatore as my exam city, and the exam date. The first exam starts from 6th of 2024, from there you will have exam in all the weekends. and you can also choose whether you want to write it in the morning shift or evening shift so i will choose morning 10 to 1 pm and click on save and continue my application is successfully completed so after completing the payment you will not able to do any changes to your application form just be cautious before you do the payment now you can print your application form if you want by clicking this and if you want to apply for one more exam you can apply it directly in this for the second and third exam you don't need to fill in all the details again you just uh, directly you can click on apply for another exam and choose whether in india or outside and declaration and you can do the payment like the same stuff i hope this video might have helped you your application process so if you find this video useful do subscribe our channel for getting update about all the and jee paper to exam so thank you for watching planning of architect hari from neeramplaza.com